my money that I don't accept. Hashtag make it to May. What is it? Is it going to be an annual thing? What's the goal? We were able to catch up with Miss Long to get more information over the next couple of weeks as we've never done this before. Let's send it to her. When some staff members and I talked about Make It to May, we were looking for a way to inspire kids to get to school on time and frankly make school fun. We recognize that high school students have lost a lot over the past few years with COVID and we wanted to come up with a way to use community to do some team building and have a great time. Our expectations for Make It to May are pretty simple. We want our spectators to have perfect attendance and no tardies, and that allows them to be able to watch our Make It to May initiative, whatever it is for that time. And we also want kids to have fun and participate. Our Make It to May prizes are really up in the air. We asked for some student input and got a lot of good ideas. Some good ideas, unfortunately, could not be used because I do not have the power to let you out of school or to give you all A's or to wipe your finals away. But absolutely, other things on the table are snacks, cookies, prizes. Um, we are looking for a grand championship prize from the kayak that we want to be very big, but we also want it to be a secret. Remember, next week we also have our dress up days and there will be prizes for each of those days as well. Our plans after our Make It to May initiative, because remember we have our kayak racing this week and then the next two weeks we have some dress up days, again with prizes. Um, going forward, we would like to do a Make It to the End of the Year or Make It to Graduation celebration. A number of students have tossed out the idea of having a dodgeball tournament in the same format that we've done our kayak with a grade level each day and then finally a grand championship of the world that we would like to do on Friday and we're definitely open to those ideas. Remember our goal is to have fun during community, do some team building and make sure that we focus on excellent behavior, excellent attendance and no tardies. Those are our goals. Remember next week, our Make It to May days. On Monday, the 18th, we want you to dress in 80s style. On Tuesday, 70s and 60s. On Wednesday of next week, the 20th, that's 50s and 40s. On Thursday, it's the 20s. And then we make a big jump on Friday, the 22nd. We're talking about medieval Renaissance times. Remember that all dress up days have to comply with our school dress code. You have to be covered and you cannot bring anything weapons weapons related and you also have to remember to um, abide by the dress code. On Monday the 25th the following week it's twin day. Tuesday is superhero day. Wednesday is TV movie ensemble day. Dress as a group. On Thursday it's blackout day and on Friday the 29th when we have officially nearly made it to May it will be hot dog fanatic day. It's going to be a great time. Make sure you participate. Students remember that all parts of our Make It to May initiative need to fit within our school rules. That includes the dress code. So make sure that you cover yourself appropriately and that you have fun and you do what's right. Thanks. With that being said, hashtag Make It to May seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. The grand championship of the kayak race was today. Make sure you tune in to today's announcements to find out who the winners are. Make sure you participate in the dress days and have fun. Remember, abide by the dress code and who knows, we might get a dodgeball tournament in May. Anyways, this is Nelson from HDTV, signing off.